Welcome to Homebrew Magic, a video series about EDH where we do our best to build unique, fun, or just plain silly deck lists to play against each other, followed by a breakdown of how they did so we can all learn and get better at this game that we love. Uh, so, for today's game, I built Strephon, Mauro Progenitor, because I wanted to sound like I was having a stroke, <laughs> possibly from blood loss. That's right, blood tokens. Uh, oh, nice. Yeah. Let's see what you did. That yeah. was clever. I didn't want to build a vampire deck, but I wanted to actually build blood tokens because I consider them the fucking worst. And vampires just lean into it so much that is, more. That so. is, those are the type of yeah. things yeah. I like to build around. Yeah. I was going to say, you ran out of mechanics to build around, so now you're building out of medical emergencies. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. I want to sound like I'm having a stroke. Because <laughs> I'm strapping her and burning on my... His name is Strephon Maurer. Richard. <laughs> Strephon Maurer. <laughs> Teach, what did you build? What up, high mind? It's your boy Teach. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Uh, I built nothing new, uh, but I am bringing a deck to the table that A hasn't been seen for a while, so that's cute little new dragon sleeves. Uh, Say it like you're having a stroke. <laughs> That's my joke. I'm I'm fucking kill you. Um, and also, there's a Thunder Junction card in this deck somewhere. Yeah. It's Niv Mizzet. Oh, um, that's not from Thunder Junction. No, but there's a there's a new Thunder Junction card in here, uh, which fits the theme, which is uh, uh, wheels and whatnot. Oh. Yes, that's the one. Outlaws. <laughs> Outlaws. Uh, I'm, so... I'm waiting for cards from Karlov's at Markov Manor. <laughs> <laughs> Karlov's at Merker Murder. <laughs> Uh, I'll be wheeling and dealing tonight. Chris, what you got? Right. Uh, I brought back a deck I have not played in quite a while. Uh, no, Nothing new to it, but I just want to see if there's something I would like to change in it. Clothis, God of Destiny, Ooh. Enchantments. Angry, angry enchantments. Nice. And Nelson, right. you I, roll off. I did. I'll be going first, and I brought back Shelob, Dreadweaver. Ooh. So I want to make you... I want, I want you to make you sacrifice stuff. I want to steal it with my big beefy spider and then play it for myself. I want to make it. <laughs> I want to make it. Uh, I will draw for the turn. I'll play a reliquary tower and I'll pass the schnell. Okay. Untap my keep draw. Okay, we're in the river. Okay. Uh, mountain will be landed for the turn. For one red, Falcon Wrath Gorger. Each vampire card I own that isn't on the battlefield has madness. The madness cost is equal to its mana cost. That's a cool ability. It is a 2-1 bear soccer. Go ahead, teach us. I wish that was a legendary creature. That would make a cool deck, actually. Yeah, it would be busted. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> as, as we've established. Uh, as I've established. Things that I give... I was there, comrade. As, the, as I said last time, things that give static alternating co or alternate costs. My land for turn is a Terramorphic Expanse. I will crack it while Chris takes his turn. Oh, right. he's already dealing. Drop for the turn. With his deck, I will play I a command tower and pass. All right. I will draw for the turn. <clears throat> I will play a swamp. I will pass the turn. Snow. On tap of the draw. Yeah. Weird. Uh, land for the turn will be Shizo, Death Storehouse. Forgot to untap. You really didn't say untap. Um. We will do black and a red for more than meets the eye. More than a bit. Flame war. Transformers. Streetwise operative. I remember that conversation. Uh, two one living flame mother. Bar. So it's flame war. <laughs> uh, menace death touch. No. <laughs> when flame war deals combat damage to a player, exile that many cards from the top of my library face down. Put an intel counter on them. Convert flame war, and then. She does stuff, I would hope, with those cards later on. My immersion is ruined. We will Thank go. you. Why? Fucking chance. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Your universe is beyond. Yeah. Oops. Fucking, I will, I will have you oops. guys know Flame War is no longer in mechanics because you guys are mean to me. <laughs> <laughs> is that all it takes? Niv miss it's a bitch. <laughs> oh, my God. Take it out. Uh, quit. Nelson. Need. I will attack you for two vampire damage. I will take your two vampires. We did it. <laughs> uh, go ahead, Teach. Untap. 
Uh, line for turn will be a frost boil snarl, which I will have at your tapped because I'm not revealing shit to you guys. Go, Chris. All right. Draw for the turn. Flabar. Flabar. <laughs> God, I'm not even playing the deck. <laughs> yeah. Play a mountain. Tap for a red and a green, and I will cast a goblin, a narcomancer. Each spell you cast that's red or green costs one less to cast. That's really good. It's a good. Pass to Nelson. MH2 card. Untap, upkeep, and draw for turn. Oh, no, it's me too. Me too. <laughs> Hashtag. I will play this. Hashtag MH2. Swamp. <laughs> Swamp for the turn. Pay three. And cast an extra planar lens. Did you say me casting or B casting? That makes your swamps tap for a double? It makes all swamps. Whenever a land with the same name as as the exiled card is tapped for mana, its controller adds one mana of any type that land produced. Anybody running swamps? If I well, draw a swamp, I will not be upset. <laughs> uh, Goshno? Hunter. Upkeep. Brawl. Uh, Commander Legends? Right? Yes. No, Masters. That's fancy. Commander Masters. That's it's the, it's the ultimate fancy. Uh, the Commander Masters. Yeah. Because it's CMM. It's I can never remember which one came. Yeah. It's, you know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the cum set. That's the, the cum one. set. The cum set. Um, I am going to go ahead and destroy target artifact. I'll bring it. Okay. <laughs> I, will go to, I will go to combat. Chris, how big is your goblin thing? Dos, dos. Dos, dos. Um, I will send my menace at Chris. And the regular Gorger at Teach. Is it one or two one flame war? Two one know. flame war. Okay, so I'm taking it. Okay. So you exile the top two? I exile the top two of my library With an intel face counter. down. I should have made an info, intel counter. And then I convert flame war. Uh, when it converts, I assume it stays face down, Judge? Correct. Okay. Or not face down, but tapped. tapped. Uh, also correct. Okay. I thought you were talking about the face down exile card. No, no, no. That is okay. I can pay one to discard my hand and then put all exiled cards I own with intel counters into my hand. Uh, go ahead, Deej. I will untap that my. That allow you to uh, madness in vampires from your hand. I mean, maybe. <laughs> so again, blood counters uh, or blood tokens specifically are garbage. They are token artifacts type blood. Pay one, tap it, discard a card, sacrifice this artifact, draw a card. So I leaned heavily into the madness and heavily into uh, if I'm discarding shit, I want I want it back or I want value off of it. Life Return is a Lava Glide Pathway. And, and I will play Riel the Everwise. Zero three human Ooh, wizard. Boy. Uh, she will get plus one, plus one for each instant and sorcery in my graveyard. Whenever I discard one or more cards for the first time each turn, I draw that many cards. Got it. Go to Chris. One tap. Hmm. Carclusion Forest will be my land for the turn. Carclusion. Uh, don't to play that. So we will pay a red and a green. I will cast my commander. Is your commander indestructible? It is. Yeah. Um, it is not a creature at the moment. At the beginning of your pre-combat main phase, exile a target card from a graveyard. If it was a land, add a red or a green. Otherwise, you gain two life, and Clothis deals two to each opponent. Um, Nelson, you're up. All right. Uh, I will untap. Draw. Don't, don't be sad. Uh, I am Sam. going to stay behind. As I'm going to play a Baradur tapped and pass the turn to Schnell. As I'm going to what? Baradur. Oh, I thought you said a bear doer. <laughs> Fuck yeah, bear doer. Then I thought of super troopers. Nice. Uh, Is that a search foil? Assistance? Yeah. That's kind of sexy. <laughs> it's very cool. Uh, also very cheap. Apparently nobody plays that card. I run it in a deck. I think. That's it. Uh, Path of Ancestry, EGB's tapped. Uh, whenever I, oh, okay, taps for anything of my man, or my commander's identity. And if it shares a creature type, in this instance, vampire or noble, I get to scry one. Oh, I said maybe. Um, anyway, I'll go to combat. Yeah, we'll go to combat. 
Uh, Tiege, I'm going to send a 3-2 at you. Uh, no box. <laughs> Excellent, take three. 35. What's the trigger to flip it back? Uh, I pay two. one and pitch my hand, and then I put all exiled cards I own with the intel okay. counters on them back right. into my hand. Got it. Uh, go ahead, Tiege. What's that? You can do that at instant speed, right? Just I a can. regular ability. Okay. Yeah. Um, two, two, can't do everything I would like. Uh, so I will start with a Mystic Sanctuary, which will also look at Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, to convert it back, I sacrifice another effect and put a plus one, plus one counter on it. That's sorcery speed. But pitching in, uh, pitching my hand and getting it, that's instant speed for one. Okay. Uh, I cast in, is it, is it Signet? And then I will summon Baral, Chief of Compliance. My instance and sorcerers cost one uh, less to cast. Oh. And whenever a speller... Yeah. Don't like that. It says. And whenever a spell or ability I control counters a spell, I may draw a card. If I do, I discard a card. Uh, go on, Chris. I like those apples, Will. <laughs> Drop the turn. Baral, Chief of No Fun. I would say something snarky, but I have a Baral deck, so I, <laughs> that deck only shows up when I You're play in a bad with, mood. when I play with randos, and one person is just like, "Let's just play some fun EDH," and they brought their CEDH deck. <laughs> so I go, "Huh? Look how I have all the free fucking counters <laughs> and Baral." Baral says no, but only to you. Baral aggressively says the one person no longer has fun. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I will tap the Carflusion Force for a green, pinging myself for one. Ouch! Three. I will cast Eidolon of Blossoms. When Eidolon of Blossoms or another enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, draw a card. It's a good one. So I will draw a card. Classic Enchantress! That's how they get you. That's how they get you. Huh? I would go. <laughs> I don't have an enchantress. Deck. I'm Nelson. I'm sorry. Draws cards left and right. I'm sorry. I popped your ramp. I, oh, that's this, fine. This that's does fine. not draw cards quite like it. Um, I mean, I wouldn't have kept his hand. Had <laughs> I known, uh, my opponents would respond. Untap, to upkeep, and draw for turn. Oh, um, I'm gonna pay two black, and I'm gonna lose two draw two <clears> from Cyan Blood. Yes, you do doing my uh, work for me. Um, play a swamp as my land for the turn. I still gotta buy the rest of these so I can have all my swamps be. This is a Mordor one. I want oh, the okay. Seerith Ungol. Um, oh, nice swamps because you know. Yeah, that's bad. Uh, uh, all right, then I'm gonna pay one with my Reliquary Tower, and I'm gonna play a Commander's Plate, and then I will pass the turn. Go, Schnell. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. Mother Hopper. Mother Chunder. Mother Chunder. <laughs> I don't know what's in here, but I'm. These are truly desperate times. I will. We want that, and we want that. So, I'm going to activate. Uh, yeah, I'm going to tap my Path of Ancestry. I'm going to. Discard my hand, put all exiled cards I own with intel cards on them into my hand. Uh, when I discard, I'm going to pay the madness cost for terminal agony to destroy target creature. We're going to pop Baral. Oh, man. Nice. If I knew you were going to destroy Baral <laughs> uh, on a later turn, I wouldn't have played I wouldn't have played Well, that changes what I was going to do during my turn. Anybody else need a bullet? Um, yeah, grab me one. Yeah, all right. Well, that's it. Four lets me. We'll see. And then we're gonna go to combat. Flame War is coming at Tiege for three. And Nelson, despite you getting a beer, I'm sending a two-one vampire your way. Uh, yeah, I He's not here to block. He's not here to block. Hit, hit him while he's up. I mean down. I mean up. Uh, hit him while he's up. How much for Nelson? Uh, two for Nelson. Thirty-four. Uh, go ahead, Tiege. Untap. Dos Boletos. Dos Boletos. I wanna fuck Draw that. Hey, land! Uh, <laughs> <more> fucking... <laughs> Don't. Don't. I'm going to... Danka. Yep. 
summon Harmonic Prodigy. 1-3 with prowess. If an ability of a shaman or another <laughs> wizard I control <laughs> triggers, that ability triggers an additional time. Some of my all-time favorite creatures in this deck already. Yeah. Uh, I will pass the turn. On tap. Draw. Oh, man. <laughs> No idea why that's in my head, but it is. Never gonna love me. Never gonna love me. Do it next time. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I will cast our. Oh, I forgot to do my pre combat. Beginning of pre combat main. Uh, you didn't mean that. You didn't need to. Um, oh, I do need to do it. Uh, I'm going to exile that <coughs> land from Tej's graveyard. Thermorphic expanse is exiled. I'm going to add a green mana to my mana pool. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I was like, green. What's a green? <laughs> I'm going to cast Arborea. Creatures can't attack a player unless that player casts a spell or put a non-token permanent onto the battlefield during their last turn. All right. And you draw a card. Draw a card. Schnell's over here trying to make out with me. <laughs> yeah. And Chris is trying to teach about Arborea. <laughs> um. Arborea, <laughs> more like. Nah, Darius. <laughs> may, uh, put Clothis online. She is now a creature. I believe. Seven? Yes. Two, four, six, eight. Yep. Who right. do we appreciate Clothis? Pass to Nelson. Alright. Okay. Untap. So I always know. Go ahead. Okay. I just always need to reread or Arborea, Arborea like six times. Creatures can't attack a player unless that player, the one being attacked, yep. cast a spell or put a non-token permanent on the battlefield at their last turn. So I am open right. for business. What with the passing and putting a per- non-token permanent into play. Uh, mirrored landscape will be my land for the turn. It enters tapped. That's tap also my, a non-token permanent. Tap my reliquary tower for one and play soul ring. Uh, then I'm going to pay five. I'm going to cast a Nelson special. Oh. Painful quandary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just, uh, discard a card. What you want? Five. Uh, whenever an opponent pitch. casts a spell, lose five or pitch. Yep. Uh, go see. show. Uh, you, can, uh, you can have oh, all those madness effects. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Um, whenever a player casts a spell. Yeah. Lose I, five, they lose five life or discard. Card. Okay. I'm going to respond to that on the stack. Uh... <clears throat> Just because. I am going to... No, it's fine. It's fine. I'm not going to counter it. Uh, I'm going to play Decaying Time Loop. I'm going to discard all the cards in my hand, then draw that many cards. Uh, Jesus, Dave's not on the board, is it? No. no. Okay, good. Right. But I'm going to discard two, uh, draw two. That will trigger Rael. Uh, the Everwise? Yeah. I'm going to draw two because I discarded two. And then Harmonic Prodigy uh, will let Rael trigger again, so I'll draw two more. Seems uh and then what, how, interesting. How, what size is real now with the stuff that's in your graveyard? Uh, what does she look at again? So, Instance of Sorcery. That's right, graveyard. okay. So she's a 3 3 right now. Okay. Um, you discard one or more cards for the first time. Yep. Throw all that. Ah, neat. Um, okay, and then yes. are you. So yep. then back to yep. Nelson, painful quantity resolves, Correct. Nelson passes turn. Correct. Okay. Correct. On tap. Also, the King Time Loop has retrace. Yeah, I know, it's in my head too. Reach around? <laughs> yes. My favorite kind. <laughs> I'm gonna build a deck around that mechanic. Ah. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> land, lands, my kingdom for a land. Same things. See, if I had drawn a swamp, I would have been fine. I would have left your shit alone. <laughs> uh, crime Novelist. Whenever you sacrifice an artifact, put a plus one plus one counter on Crime Novelist and add one red. I will take five. I like my card. That's a cool fucking card. Yep, that's a good one. I pulled a few and then went, ah, I'm going to buy like six more of those. Just is that because... Um, Karlov Manor? That is, yes. Karlov's at Markov's. 
my Norse. My Nor. Um, we're gonna go to combat. He's bigger than me now. <laughs> <laughs> can't, can't can't pick on him anymore. Nelson can be yeah, wide open. open. Uh, sending five your way. Oh yeah, wow, that's one painful also, uh, You will find Nelson. He's quite pick Yeah, but combo. I didn't. I wasn't going to attack you anyway. I'm just saying. Oh, yeah, I'm at 29. I wasn't, wasn't going to and can't for multiple reasons. You don't tell me what I Good. can't not do. Then don't. Go teach. Okay. See if I can tell him what to do. I'm done. <laughs> Upkeep. Whenever I cast a spell, I have to pay five life for diff- discard a card? Correct. Diff card. Huh. Then he gets a draw and draw. That's right. I know. Draw. Discard draw two. Thanks, painful quandary. Um... I am going to. I'll say we can interact with that prodigy real quick. Not quite mountain yet. And then you may still. One, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six, seven. I am going to. Cast. One, two, three, four. Yes. Uh, exalted Flamer of Tenzich. I don't know how to say that word. Zeech. That's okay. What is it? Zeech? Zeech. Zeech? Silent T? That, that's how I've per- heard it pronounced mostly. Okay. Zeech. Um, it, uh, at the beginning of my upkeep, I return an instant or sorcery at random from my graver to my hand. And whenever I cast an instant or sorcery spell, Exalted Flamer of Zeech deals one damage to each opponent. Painful Quandary trigger. I will discard an island. I will... Draw one two times. Then I will cast. Sorry, boys. <laughs> <laughs> well, it ends there because I only get to do that once a turn. Yeah, but still fair. Um, do I want to do this? She's still a three-three. No, she's, she's still a four-four. Four, no, three-three. No, three, three. Okay. Get her. Could I look at your graveyard teach Absolutely. while you're doing your thing? <laughs> uh, actually, I'm not going to cast anything else this turn. I will. And when can you put these in your hand? Put one in your hand? At the beginning of my upkeep, a uh, random one goes to my hand. Yeah. A random one? So yeah, the, not one, okay. the one that he can just bring back or cast from his graveyard, I would say, would be a good start. Yeah. That's the, the, the one that's time loop. Yeah. 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 Doctor Who. The Whovians. Right. Oh. Drop by the turn. It's <laughs> not Pre combat main so. phase, I will. Uh, he just sings that randomly around the house, and I love it every time. <laughs> kind of need the mail. So I'm going to just exile the island. I'm stuck on four lands as well. I, know I have three. three I know, lands. but. You can exile my island? Yes, sir. Four Sylvan's green. Gone. I will use that to cast a Sylvan. Draw a card. Seems like a good card. Painful quandary. Painful quandary. Mm. God damn. Yeah, that's a whole beat up, marked on thing. I like it. <laughs> I was gonna say somebody colored this. Yep. <laughs> oh yeah. I love it. The age of two fifty was great. Yeah, it was. Um. <clears throat> oh, I'm paying one mana too many. You're just looking at it like that black border seems weird. Paying red. It is. With my carplu- we're making creating a red with carplusion, taking a point. I'm going to cast sulfuric vortex. The beginning of each player's upkeep, vortex deals two damage to that player. If the player would gain life, that player gains no life instead. Draw a card. So, uh, um, if okay, again. hold on. Yeah, quandary. Did you quandary for this? Oh, nope. So, hold on. I will discard season of renewal. Okay, and then the next spell. And I will discard Xenagos. Got it. Land for turn will be in Evolving Wilds, which I will crack for a forest. Sack and crack. Ah, crack and sack. Trying to figure out where the glare is coming from. Mm-hmm. The crystals. Yeah. Is it from the overhead light? No. Cut. I'm done then. Gotcha, boo. You done? 
I am, sir. All right. Untap, probably. <coughs> Whatever, we'll figure it out. One day too bright? No! Oh, okay. Drop turn. Might have to be angled towards Schnell a little. One, two, three, four, five, six, um, seven. Off we're line. not going to worry about it. We're not going to worry about it. Just read your cards. <laughs> People don't need to see shit. Video is outdated. <laughs> this is one of them picture podcasts. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna pay oh. five. <clears throat> did, you lose, did you lose two to sulfuric cortex? Nope. Thank you. Uh, I did. I just didn't take it. Uh, uh, children probably. will be my spell here. Uh, four or five menace. When she enters the battlefield, each opponent sacrifices a non-token creature or planeswalker. Non-token creature or planeswalker. Correct. I'm going to lose my falcon wrath gorger. Uh, Children enters the battlefield. Each player sacrifices a non-token creature or planeswalker. I want to not do that, but I will sacrifice one of my friends. I will sacrifice the anarchomancer top blood anyway. Yes, sir. Okay. Um. Then. Maybe it was. I don't know. We'll see. I will pay two, and I'll cast Lightning Greaves. No, no, no. Well. to equip. Shield her with the Lightning Greaves. Uh, what is the trigger to flip her to the Saga side? Five mana, and exile her. Okay. Uh, so yeah, five, uh, four and a black, exile her, then return her to the battlefield, transform. And you do have you mana. You played Lightning Greaves? I have it on board, I don't have it now. Yes, I Did played Lightning Greaves. Whenever it's an opponent. Opponents. Ah, fuck you. Yep. Yeah. So no. Correct response. Uh, uh, real good. So it's been a while since I've run it. Um, yeah. So <coughs> I only only as a sorcery. I'm tapped out for the turn. I could do it next turn on my main phase. Um. So I got go Chanel. All right. I'm tapped. I'll keep mini prayer phase. Draw. Mini prayer. Thoughts and prayers. It did not work. Mini prayer was a failure. Oh, Doctor Who. Well, I can't be attacked if I don't do shit. I only take two from the Vortex, vortex yep. and I can't be quandried if I don't do shit also. So go ahead and teach. All right. Shit. <laughs> you've broken my... I you've got, broken my deck. I got through. <laughs> Untap. Upkeep, I take two. Yep. 30. Uh, at the beginning of my upkeep, I return an instant or sorcery card at random from my graveyard to my hand. It's real important. Two more mana. I kindly ask Teach to stop his deck. <laughs> <laughs> Chanel? Hmm. Do the honors, please. Oh, shit, that was awesome. <laughs> that was a double flip. Double <laughs> The French call that card <coughs> retard. <coughs> What card was it? Delay. 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 French delay. Blast fireball. <laughs> Life return will be a mountain. I'm going to cast Gyerson Starn Keller Morph. <laughs> that is a Warhammer card. It is. Yep. Uh, with Warhammer. It's Ward. It's just Ward. Oh, I guess. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> whenever a Magic whenever another dead. source <laughs> I control deals exactly one damage to a permanent or player, Garrison Starn deals uh, two damage to a permanent or player. Uh, Sorry, I, whenever what, what triggers that? Whenever another source I control deals exactly okay. one damage. That's right. I cast a thing, so I have to discard. And you took two on your upkeep. I took my two. You did take the time. Yeah. Uh, that's okay. uh, Ryle will trigger. I will draw. What did you discard? Why uh, did you discard Halmar, two? Halmar Depths. Uh, Painful Point Nope. Halmar Depths. Okay. Then, I will simply pass my turn. Go, Chris. Okay. One tap. I'll keep my teeth, too. I'm going to draw a land in the next two turns. Draw phase. Everybody's going home. I'm going to get real sad. Everyone <laughs> out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
go snuggle with my angry two month old. <laughs> Come here. Daddy said to. That's <laughs> <laughs> okay, buddy. <laughs> Maybe that's why he's upset. He didn't draw any land all day. <laughs> Magic is dumb. Oh, I get it. Poor kid. <laughs> Been there, Bruce. Poor little man. Um, Your hands are too small to shuffle. Of course, you're not drawing shit. <laughs> Why is that? In your I don't head? even know. But you're all welcome. <laughs> um, I will draw one. I'll put these out two back. Oh, you're resolving library. I was like, yep. what are you doing? What spell did you play? <laughs> I will draw um, one. <laughs> your combat main phase. Did. Exile a card. Yeah? I did. Why? I didn't do it on purpose. Oh. I just did. <laughs> I should not have done that, but that's what I do. It'll work. Um, tap this for a... Red. Tap that for a green. I'm going to cast Utopia Scrawl, choosing red. Painful Quandary. Painful Quandary. Discard Freyalise's Wins, because that card doesn't make any friends. <clears throat> uh, draw we're already friends. friends. Just play it. I mean, that's why we're here, right? What does it do? Uh, it keeps, Anything with it wins. No, it keeps you tap tabs. things, it puts stun counters on things. Nice. Lands, creatures, artifacts. Um, a solid Ice Age card right there. Blood deck has made no blood tokens. <laughs> yeah, but how many strokes did you do to you? Couple. Nice. <laughs> you shall only need four or five. Three, <laughs> four. Wait, what'd you ask? No, no, you were. <laughs> did I just like to turn over and go to sleep? <laughs> what I heard is At that point, one. I'm kicked out of the YMCA. Anyway. <laughs> um, Nelson. Sir? You can guard my invasion of Chandelar. Enters with four... Battle points? Battle, battle hit Def points? Defender? Defense? Who's it? Uh, when it enters the battlefield, return up to three target permanent cards from your graveyard to your hand. Hey, what uh, does that thing flip into? Uh, I think I play three things. Let's also, do. painful corner. Yeah, yep. you do have to I'm corner. discarding. I'll discard Furnace of Wrath to that. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may put a permanent card from your hand onto the battlefield. Oh, yeah, yeah that, that was it. Leyline Surge. Okay. Uh, I'll bring back the Furnace of Wrath. The Evolving Wilds. You're destroying your color. Santa Claus. Yeah, he does that. What's bringing all that back? Uh, Land enters the battlefield. Ah. Uh, Land for the turn will be in Evolving Wilds. I will sack this for a mountain. I think I'm done then. Yep, I'm done. All right. Just all that, huh? All right. Uh, I will untap. <clears throat> upkeep and Take two. draw. Yeah, that happens on the old upkeep, doesn't it? Thank you. Uh, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh oh. Gotta try something here. Uh, Okay, seven. Cast Shard of the Void Dragon. Mother. Seven, seven, flyer. Uh, Spear of the Void Dragon. Whenever it attacks, each opponent sacrifices a non land permanent. <clears throat> Matter absorption. Whenever an artifact is put into a graveyard from the battlefield or is put into exile from the battlefield, it gets two plus one plus one counters. <clears throat> well, good game, guys. Responses. I have none. It's on the cast. Stacked. So, say that again. I'm sorry. Okay, 7-7 seven, seven flyer. Yep. Whenever it attacks, each opponent sacrifices a non-land permanent. Yep. Whenever an artifact is put into a graveyard from the battlefield or is put into exile from the battlefield, it gets two plus one plus one counters. Okay. And he does have a lightning grease. So we could potentially I'm going to move this to equip the shard with the greaves. I don't respond to that. Because I don't want Chris to do shit anymore. Okay. Uh, I will cyclonic rift here. Monster. Uh, okay. And then you will also be quandary. Uh, I cast a thing, so I will discard a card. And then he draws two. I will yeah, discard, right. commit. I'm going to draw one. Because the. Yeah, I got rid of the heat. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, That's what he chose to sacrifice. So I will draw one. 
Um, also, I cast an <coughs> instant, uh, so you are each going to take one damage. And then since you each take exactly one damage, you're going to take, take two, two more damage. Pew, pew. <laughs> Down to 30. 22. Okay. I have. All right. Okay. That's <laughs> enough of that shit right there. Uh, okay. I will then... Okay. Oh, that resolves. Yep. I will then move to put the Greaves back on Shailgrid. I ain't got nothing for you. Okay. Great. Uh, so, hey. Do they ever technically leave because the ability to move it fizzled then? Uh. I don't Teach, did, so. you, Teach, did you play a. Did you play. What yeah, the they, fuck they, is they, it? they were either on Shieldred or on the target. Yeah, he, so he activates, activates, like, he activates the equipment. Does he have to cast, equipment, cast so. a spell or just playing lands? Yes, yes but he tried to equip it and then the okay, creature the got bounced. No, no, I'm totally saying, permanent. yeah, so it stays where it is. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's what I wanted to confirm. So you don't have to re equip technically, no. No. Okay. So you can oh you, I see you okay. can take back that zero mana you paid yeah thanks perfect. perfect again it doesn't matter no but for rules purposes yeah, yeah. good Fuck point uh, okay so teach how much what's your power round board I have a two four I have a three two and I have a one two three four oof yeah okay. four, three. Three. make them look like a bit he yeah, wants rather, all of them rather, he yeah. wants them all and what lets uh, Arborea is putting stuff into play? A permanent on the battlefield or casting a... Or is it only permanents? Casting on your turn or putting a non-token permanent non -token. onto into play. Also, that's onto a your battlefield. I didn't cast anything on my turn. You played a land, though. No. You put a non-token permanent yeah. on the battlefield. Oh, shit! Yeah. Okay. I did not. Um, that. Uh, I gotta block this stupid shit for this invasion, too. Um, yeah. Okay, yeah. Go ahead, Snow. You don't have to. You get to. Untap, upkeep. I'd like to if I can. Large I prayer to. this time. There you go. Draw. Big prayers. Oh, I take two. Yep. That'll help. Uh, <laughs> Vampiric tutor for a swamp. I mean, at this <laughs> point, I fucking would. <laughs> so here's the thing. I can advance my board state ever so slightly, or I can just not and not be attacked. Go, oh, Teach. Valid choices. Untap. Three cards in your hand, Teach. Thanks, so One, Arborea. two, three, four, five. Uh, upkeep. Uh, two uh, damage. I've decided Arborea that. does not fit the theme of this deck. That. That's it. So I, I mean, I'm waiting for Mr. Wheels and Deals to wheel so I can... There's been a surprising few number of wheels in, uh, that we've seen so far, which is zero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Correct. Uh. Chris, do the others, please. Kick his ass, he wins. This is back to your hand. Correct. It's uh, public knowledge, but... Cyclonic Rift! Uh. <laughs> that's, a, that's an okay one. Uh, draw for turn. Get up there. Get that off. What's this thing? Oh, yes, I remember you. Um... So I have to one, two, three, well, four, five, know six, that's all there. seven, and a delay, and a delay. Oh, man. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's one more that you need to overload Cyclonic Rift. Sure it is, isn't it? I was thinking I'd have me nine. You shouldn't have told me that. I was about to play a land, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to. Gross. Um, pass the turn. Uh, move to discard. I am going to discard Solemnity Vision, which will trigger Rael, which will draw me a card, and I have to discard again. Uh, I will discard. But you don't get a Rael draw this time. Correct. Okay. This matter. Which is probably why I think I'll said first time only. Because move to discard, mill yourself. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I accidentally balanced that. Uh, upkeep. 29. Well, at least the game is going to end shortly anyway. One way or another. I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna get you, get you, get you, get you. <laughs> All that mana up. Correct. Bite the soap, Rook. Make him look like an X. Cyclonic 
rift man. That's so what I'm going to do. My turn. My shield is going to attack the invasion of Shandlock. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you can. Here you I, go, Chris. I ain't got to defend. Shit. I ain't got to defend shit. I'm going to blow it up. Give him what he wants. All right. I drew one. From the library. From the library. Yep. Just from, from the library. library. From the library. From the library targets. Hmm. I will. One, two, three, four. That's two red. Five. Six. How big is Riel? Big. <laughs> four, four, three. Smaller than I thought. Correction. Average. <laughs> oh. uh, actually, can I see your graveyard? Go to four three. I forgot my closest average. trigger again. And I decide where the base is. <laughs> uh, I will escort. I will exile that. So with uh, closest ability. Uh, Beginning your pre-combat main counts. phase. Exile target card. Um, so you count how much you shove the tape measure like in? <laughs> yep. I think so. Response to that. Yep. I will cast it with evolving wilds. What are you casting? I am discarding an evolving wilds to retrace this decaying time loop. To and that's a, all that's the cards a cast? in hand. Correct. Okay. Then before that happens, you then need to resolve. Yeah. The quandary, which I guess uh, you which which, anyway. which which does poon his plan a little bit. Yes. Uh, but there you go. Yeah. Um, well, he'll just take five and then discard five. I will. He can choose to. Yeah. yeah. But I'm okay with that option too. Yeah. That's not gonna matter. Uh, discard that to play painful quandary. Okay. Draw one. I have to one two to pay for it, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. Have to. Fucking get a different song. <laughs> I gotta stop. I gotta stop. I gotta I'm getting very upset about not getting another land because I'm yeah, seeing that all sucks. of the fun shit that this deck can do. Yeah, that's because it's oh, sacrifice another artifact. Uh, put yeah, a counter on. Right. Whenever you sacrifice, Two, this three, also gets a counter, four, and I get red mana. That seems pretty good. It would be cool if I could use those things in tandem. Four, yeah. Five. Uh, you each take three. Twenty-five. Two, three. Nineteen. All right. So. That ability fizzles. Okay, so nobody takes damage. Wait, does retrace remove it from the graveyard? But well, when you cast it, you move it from the zones into the stack. And then when it changes zones, okay. it's no longer... Got it. Okay. All right. Uh, now how big is real? Bigger. One, two, three, four. Bigger than average. Five, six, <laughs> seven, eight, nine, nine, three. Significantly bigger. Go away, bigger. Go away, bigger. Six, seven. I will cast Spiteful Banditry. Four, five. What do? When it enters the battlefield, it deals five damage to each creature. I didn't want to have what little boards did I have anyway. Yeah, same here. Five damage to each creature, you say. And then whenever one or more creatures your opponents control die, you create a treasure token. This ability triggers only once each turn. Lord of the Rings. Okay, yeah. Um, can I... Idle on a Blossom's trigger. Well, it's still on the stack, yes. Um, Painful Wander trigger. Still on the stack. Well, no. because Well, yeah, because it's... That hasn't resolved. He did cast it. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So five to each creature. Yep. <laughs> Bloop. Blue. Fucking blue. So I only get if I rank I, if I'm reading this correctly, I get eight treasure treasure token. Yes. Okay, because it was one effect causing all these creatures to die. Whatever, one or more. Creatures of bones control, you create a treasure token. Correct. Triggers only once each turn. So, draw a trigger from Eidolon before it dies. And a treasure token. <clears throat> I'll find a treasure token. You are a treasure token. And treasure. 
speaking of Lord of the Rings, I started uh, reading Wheel of Time again, like determined to actually finish it this time. <laughs> and I'm like halfway through now, and I'm just like, wow, this is just a reskinned fucking Fellowship of the Ring. This, yeah. This first book. It's not bad. I will. But it is. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Very okay, I still have Devotion, Unlooked to Combat. Tiege, I'll attack you for four. Okay. 24. It is commander damage. Sorry. Still 24. I'm just going to change where it's coming from. The how it's 24. My calculations. <laughs> calculations. I'm very good with calculations. <laughs> this is a treasure token because I did not bring tokens and I, I'm a bad magic player. Same. Do you want some of my Invisalign tokens? Okay, okay. Invisalign? <laughs> we can still see the tokens. Damn it! They're just straighter than normal tokens. Um, I am Damn done. Tester. <laughs> you hesitated, and I thought you were offering me <clears throat> your retainer. Yeah. You want some of my retainer? Oh, I forgot to attack the invasion. Forgot about <laughs> that. <laughs> that thing I played. <laughs> Told you I bit the soap, made him look like something. Uh, I'm bit my the own soap, made him look like a soap. <laughs> <laughs> I take two from uh, the Vortex. It's starting to burn in my Vortex. Um, alright. How many creatures are in graveyards right now? I got one, two, three, four. Five, I have two, it's not a ghost, it's not a creature. I have six. Okay, so that's nine. Are you gonna do that thing where you just bring them all back and you have No, one? I don't have a I don't have a, a I have rise. Six. I don't have a rise. Okay. Uh I am gonna pay Rise from Dust Dark Rubs. Two black <laughs> mana, however. Uh and I'm gonna cast Avatar of Wolf. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, it's cheaper because it's. Yeah, I'm gonna move to equip the Greaves to my avatar. Uh, Whoa! That's a really good thing to have at instant speed right away. Um. Pop. I think it's avatar so. roll? Six, six, six five. five. Fear. Six five, you say? Okay. Dope. <laughs> made for Whoa! In your baby. Whoa! Avatar. Whoa! Yeah. Whoa! Remember Joey Lawrence? Yeah. <laughs> R.I.P. Really? Okay. No. Oh, uh, no, I made that. Talk about his career. I fucking made that. <laughs> <laughs> yup. Uh, go Chanel. Okay. Uh, I see two. Go teach. This is a fun fucking game. God <laughs> <laughs> damn. Oh my god. god. Well, now I gotta you know, start Must be playing one of those Nelson mana bases. Fucking <laughs> taunting at this point. <laughs> They're in Dynamo. <laughs> Four mana for three mana. <laughs> Lance <laughs> turn. <laughs> Training center. Oh, yeah, this is a sad, sad showing. Um, I am going to. Yes. Yes. Please wheel. I will heal. No, I will. Fuck it. Nim is it? Yes. Keep your counter whenever I draw a card. Nim is it? Deals one damage to any target. Whenever a player casts an instant or sorcery, I draw a card. I cast that. I have to discard to a quandary or take five. I don't want to take five. This card is Scalding Tar. Coward. Then. Um, I am going to... I completely tapped the wrong pile of mana. So I'll untap those three, tap these six. You mean the message doesn't cost three? <laughs> then I will tap these three. Uh, I will cast Flux. Uh, this time taking five. One, two, three, four, five. Down to nice. Nice. Each Flux do again? player chooses and discards any number of cards, then draws that many cards. I get to draw an extra card. Okay. In response to that yes. being on the stack, I'm going uh, to... Also, it was a trigger. I draw a card. We'll do one damage to Chris's face. Yeah. I'm going to destroy Niv Mizzet. It can't be countered. It's not being countered. I know why. It can't be life. Re- it can't be regenerated. Just in case <laughs> Nelson didn't know that. <laughs> God damn it, Nelson. Okay. <clears throat> Okay. I'm going to pitch three to Flux and draw three. All right. I'm going to pitch one, two, three, four, and draw five. One, two, <gasps> three. Oh. I'm going to pitch two to draw two. Um. Yeah, I probably... I don't know if you this one. 
I'll pitch one to draw one. <clears throat> <laughs> I've never heard that phrase before, and yet it feels so fucking accurate. Yeah. <laughs> really turned its ass. <laughs> oh, that, it was my turn. I'm sorry. Go, Chris. Yes, we got it. <laughs> Untapped. Upkeep. I tell Just sitting there, two. tapped out with nothing else. Just First half, I was used to doing stuff during I mean, he has been I... running an increased number of free spells lately, what so I... I wasn't putting nothing past him. What do I even do? <laughs> Have uh, I? Trust it. A little bit. I don't recall that, but okay, I believe you. I believe, I believe you. you. <laughs> oh, God. I don't want to do that. Uh, I will. It's fucking danger zone. Yep, we'll do it. Danger zone. Pay for a life. Ooh, boy. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. One of, <laughs> One of us. One of us. Ooh, we'll get out of our boo. Mom is my hand for the turn. I fucking love that episode. I don't know what you're talking about. Those are just funny noises. <laughs> South Park. Yeah. Google gobble, Google gobble, one of us. Oh, the, okay. The animals okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I forgot the Google gobble part. Yeah, I know. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's the only part I ever remember. <laughs> Shit stays with me. <laughs> All right. That fucking bear. I will cast <laughs> Price of Glory. Uh, oh, it's another Nelson card. Whenever a player taps a land for mana during another player's turn, destroy that land. Half of this deck it matches up player. real well with a deck I already have. <laughs> nah, I love it. Um, then I will pay. Did you price for the? Oh, is for your it's only it's only uh, yeah, painful corner still. Yeah, did you pay? It's only a land, right? Tap a land. For I did pay full mana. Okay. And then discard thrill of possibility. Um, screw it. Let's go for it. I will pay. No reason not to. Four, four. Oh, I forgot to do this pre pre kind of main phase. <laughs> oh, it's not a main. Um, T. Did you exile something? Yeah, I will exile. Uh, oh, uh, Nimbus should be in my command zone. I apologize. Any. Uh, do the, get rid of the. Is the. Can oh, you can't one? cast it. Yeah, so I'll get rid of that one. Yeah. And then you each. Uh, lose two, but I do not gain two because of Sulfur Cortex. 21. 15. Then I will cast Furnace of Wrath. 17. And pass to... Ah, wait. They don't go to combat. And I will attack the invasion for four. <gasps> he membered. <laughs> you go, sir. Oh, that's yours, too. That's... Are you done, then? Uh, I see it. And I only do this at the beginning of my upkeep. Uh... Yes, I am done. Okay, on your end step, I'm going to pay two, and I'm going to crack my landscape. Uh, for two basic lands, enter the battlefield tapped. One. Did you, upkeep, did you take four? It was doubled by Furnace of Wrath. Two. It's not my turn yet. I'm no. doing this on your end step. I'm just so letting you know. No. Uh, I will, though. Yes, four. Down in response to the end of my game. turn, take your upkeep. <laughs> I didn't realize you were still on my... He's one of those players. You know how it is. What? Uh, did you players. did you take your six commander I wanted to have the Niv you Mizzet kn when I attacked him two turns from now? <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're doing. <laughs> and I don't like it. Whenever a player taps a land, four mana during another player's turn, destroy that land. So what did you pay? Am I soul ring? Okay. Yeah, I know. That's why I asked specifically, just... is it lands? Yeah, it's in Yeah, lands. I made sure. Okay. That I wasn't gonna blow nothing up. Is this when you were referencing your deck that runs a lot of these cards? Is it the the grim whatever the red green Phyrexian guy that hates enchantments and artifacts? Or is that a no? That's a different. All right. Uh, okay. So, tap up keep. Take four. I'm gonna do eleven. My docking station wasn't plugged. Draw for the turn. That's a shitty draw. So we'll see what happens. Um, not enough wow. force game. Well, uh, but fuck going on. No, we took oh. care of that. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six. I said four skin and those and said butt fuck. And there's a lot oh, of sex talk. Oh, I forgot to take my token when he <laughs> took out his new visit. Speaking of four skin and butt fuck, I forgot my token. It's a four skin butt fuck token. Ooh. One of the 
more obscure ones. Yeah. It was just coming in 13. <laughs> and I thought Astarch was in the it was in the Teferi deck. <laughs> Burp. My wife. My wife. No one's ever actually seen Borat. <laughs> Um, just exists in verbal tradition. Cryptcast. Uh, 2 2 extort. Whenever I tap a swarm for mana, I add an additional black mana to my mana pool. I saw. Uh, I saw. Uh, Sorry. Uh, a meme or a gif or whatever that said, uh, Me getting ready for the party while my husband practices his war and impression in the shower. And it's just some woman looking in the mirror crying. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. Quality. Um, we are jerks, us husbands. Sometimes. Sometimes we just think we're funny when we are and our wives just don't get it. I have a really good example of that from the wedding <laughs> Saturday. How many untapped man? creatures do you have, Chris? I don't have a single untapped creature. Just curious. Um, I'm going to move the boots onto the gas. Uh, I'm going to pay three plus one uh, to extort. So each opponent loses a life, I don't gain any. And it's life loss, not damage, right? Yes. Or, uh, okay. it's life loss. Just making sure with the furnace out there. Down to 20. Uh, and I will be casting Sword of Feast and Famine. Then I will pay two to equip it to my avatar. Whoa. Whoa. Oh boy. It is, a, it is an 8-8 eight, eight and has protection from black and green. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, that uh, player discards a card and I untap all the lands that control. Uh, I'm going to attack Chris with the is an eight seven fear. Mm. Not like that. Not like that at all. <laughs> Why well, did you allow it? <laughs> Why doing things on your turn and thus nullifying your arboria? <laughs> yeah. um, you asked him to. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Let's see, you have two mana. Four oh. cheeks of half to you. And you can pop any lands you want in response to cast shit. Yeah, good. I mean, I have a tracker, but. Yeah. Stupid. Um, Somehow the bullshit returned me. <laughs> um, I'm going down to two, because I take double damage from Furnace. Move to. <laughs> uh, you were at what? 18. Oh, you were 18. Yeah, yeah, yeah so you take 16. 16. I thought... Do you uh, die on your upkeep then? Maybe. That's hot. I'm a fan of that. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Nelson. Uh, okay, Nelson. So you discard. I sort of feast and famine dealt you damage. Oh. You discard it. Yep. Uh, and I, I untap all lands I control. I will untap my swamp, my reliquary tower, my swamps, my reliquary tower, my beer doer, soul ring, stays down. Oh, right. Um, I have a proposal. <laughs> You just pass, Schnell just passes, No, I'm I just pass, play the land Chris do a thing. dies, then you pass again because we each skipped our turns. Oh, sure. Right, right. That's a good, that's a good proposal. It's Prom a great team. Off it's a great we each, we each skip we one turn. Untap, so fantastic. Untap, 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 untap your creature for some reason? Yeah, oh, I was reading it. <laughs> <laughs> if I was going to cheat it on tap, it would have been before I took 60. Yeah, that's what I was like, what the fuck are you doing? What about you read this card on tap? <laughs> God damn it, I'm illiterate. <laughs> Alright, uh, I'm going to pay 7 and cast. Sure, we know you turn. can't read. 7-7 seven, seven flyer, whenever <laughs> it attacks, each opponent sacks an automatic permanent, and then if an artifact is put into graveyard or exile from the battlefield, it gets 2 plus one. Um, then I will... What the hell did I do to anybody? Yeah, man. <laughs> Who the hell did I do to anybody? <laughs> I will then, uh, move to put, <clears throat> uh, the Greaves on the Shard. Oh, I forgot. Uh, also, I will pay the Extort, um, from the Cryptcast. So you should lose one. So you should lose one. Can you do that multiple times? Nope. No. Okay, no. Okay, well, I didn't think so. I was like, well, can I just take that? Fifteen. Uh, okay. Um, go ahead, Schnell. Cool. On tap, upkeep. One, two, three, four. Down to fifteen. Draw. Super so, yes. Draw. Oh, boy. 
Do you have any enchantment removal? Land return mountain. Guys, we hit four life. Woo! Thran Dynamo. Get him, get him. He's rapping. Pay three. Painful Use quality. one of them for Painful a five good. Take and discard Sorry. that. And then for Wayfarer's Bobble, is it damage or is it life loss? It is life loss. Okay, so I'll go down to 10. The Wayfarer's Bobble. With the two floating, I will activate the Wayfarer's Bobble. Get a swamp. Get a, yeah, I get a swamp on the battlefield tap and then shuffle. Uh, that triggers Shard of the Void Dragon, though. It gets two plus one plus two. I don't God even How big is it? It's a nine. Uh, nine nine. <laughs> There, and now I have enough mana to play the game. Guys, let's start over. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we're good. We're okay. We're all right. Thanks, buddy. Uh, go ahead, teach. Uh, okay. What's that? I will give you one dollar to board wipe. I, I don't have my wallet, man. I'll give you one dollar to second my grip. Upkeep by four? I take four? <laughs> yes. Upkeep by four? A <laughs> four, I'll keep. <laughs> Eleven. What's wrong with you? I say you would. <laughs> you could be a pal in Psychonic Rift, that's all fear of Vortex. You are absolutely save, correct. Save your, buddy, save your buddy Chris. You could wait until it's on the stack on his three, turn. Four, five, six, seven, yeah. But then you price and glory all your shit away. <laughs> I also an option. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go. Four, five, six. And I am going to cast Immolating Gyre, which will deal X damage to each creature and planeswalker I don't control, where X is the number of instant or sorcery cards in my graveyard. I will discard Paint the Quandary, Mirror and Landscape. Uh, it is at least 10. I stopped the target. One, two, three. You only three. like five or six. Because of the six seven. and nine, nine. Yeah. Doesn't that double all damage? Oh, yeah. That's damage. Well, that's also true, I suppose. So I will get another two, three oh. get, uh, treasure. Four, five, all six, gold. Dying seven, with all this wealth. Yeah, I get it. Nine, ten, 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 eleven. Twenty-two, 22 yeah. damage to all creatures. Okay. You know, just, just what I don't control. Uh, <laughs> 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 creatures that are destructible uh, yeah. on the board. Yes. Come on. Uh, that's all I got. Go, Chris. <laughs> Untap. Oh, no, so it's okay. I can do things during my untap step, correct? Not untap during upkeep. Yeah. Okay. So All right. Triggers with on the this stack. trigger on the stack, and this trigger on the stack. I this one on the stack first. Oh yeah. Sorry. Then this one. Then I will pay two mana, sacrifice roadside reliquary to draw a card. I knew what you were, and I hate you. <laughs> did you did you scry it there or something? I saw it from Sylvan last turn. Ah, uh, okay. Um I don't think I can do anything else. I shot my water early, so <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm about to die. The only one who didn't shoot at the water early was mm -hmm. Schnell, because he didn't have a wad. I <laughs> I honestly thought I, I was beg your in a pardon. good spot until I left myself wide fucking. I cast a braid on his yeah, extra plane lens extra or whatever plane for lens. Extra plane lens. That's true, you were a big help. I, yeah, I, I, no, I was. And you still did all this shit. I did, yeah. Yeah, I got nothing. I'm dead. I died to my own sulfuric vortex. Got him. I right. wasted by my own petard. <laughs> so I will then. I wasted by <laughs> my own French delay. <laughs> Untap and then not have to take vortex <laughs> damage. <laughs> I will That's what they draw call for call back. Back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna pay four. I'm gonna cast. Oh, we still have to deal with uh, painful quantum. <coughs> Phyrexian Obliterator Nelson. That is correct. I will move to equip the uh, Obliterator with the Greaves. Six cards now, you have an answer. Very next card, the oh, Seal okay. Primordium, which I could have put into play with Shandalar's ability and then sacked it to destroy mine. It, the ability was still in the sack. Yeah. The damage would have still happened. Because even the, after I destroyed, if I destroyed yeah. it? Because the trigger was on the stack. stack yeah. Yeah. That would just piss me off even more than I'm glad it did. 
I'm going to pay four and cast my commander. Sheila. And then I will move... Pay four or pay six? I cast... This is the first time I cast her, so this is my reminder. How'd she get out there before? She did. She's never been out She's there. Never she been hasn't? Out. No. Are Otherwise, you sure? all these dead creatures I'd have under her. No. Yeah, hot. I can't yeah, cast her. I don't see that. No. Oh, uh, yeah. First okay. time. Uh, okay, so... I don't believe it. Check the video. I don't know if I can. I, I honestly don't know. I honestly don't know if this thing recorded. We'll call him up next week. We'll call him up. That <laughs> son of a bitch. Um, I will move to combat. Delayed Arboria trigger. I can be attacking. Oh <laughs> uh, God. No, I go I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass your emotional touch. On tap. Up key. You're just taunting me. Command tower. Um. So. Yeah, painful quandary is. Bitch. Yes, I don't like it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, we're gonna pay four and play my commander. Stefan Murray. Stefan Murray. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had a three stroke. <laughs> three, two, flying at the beginning of my end step, create a blood token for each player who lost life this turn. Whenever Shrafan attacks, you may sacrifice two blood tokens. If you do, you may put a vampire card from your hand on the battlefield tapped and attacking. It gains indestructible until the end of the turn. He's a cool commander. He is. Actually, I'm going to tap just slightly differently so I can scry one with that. Screw and go, screw and go at the bottom. And then, uh, painful quandary, I'm gonna pitch this Argyle's Bloodfest. And then we're gonna go two black and three for a Tegrid, God of Fright. Four or five, Menace. Whenever an opponent sacrifices a non-token permanent or discards a permanent card, I put that card from the graveyard onto the battlefield under my control. That one I'm gonna have to take five because I have nothing to discard. That's interesting. So how does that work with Sheila? Because whenever a non-token creature and opponent controls dies, I exile it and then I pick what to do with it. Uh, so who is the so non-active active player? Active, non-active player. Okay, so it will depend on whose turn. Yeah. So what if it's Teach's turn? Uh, your ability would trigger, then his, then his would resolve first. Okay, so he would get it done on your turn. Right. Okay, got it. Uh, go to my end step. It'll be my end step, create a blood token for each player who lost life. I lost life. Have blood. My first blood! <laughs> Rambo. Shell first blood. Rambo is awesome. My uh, is blooming. Go ahead, T. Just. What's that? <clears throat> Upkeep. Nothing. Draw nothing. I mean, draw something. <laughs> draw. Garbage. Uh, land for turn. I have to. Gross. I. <laughs> Out. I look like he's still high. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Uh, 6, 8. I need more than that. I appreciate um, it. Yeah. Which is <laughs> better? Uh, thinking, thinking. Honestly, Nymph is better. So I will go. Buffering. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. <laughs> Buffering. Buffering. Uh, 7, 8. Oh. I will cast my commander. New business. Sacred Symphony Okay. Uh, then I have to discard or lose five life. I'm gonna fucking discard one thing I won't. I will discard Talaria West. Talaria West! Pass turn. Oh, cool! Whenever you. You said pass turn? Discard a. Perfect. 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 There you go. Alright. Hey, bad. Alright. See, uh, that's you that's uh, uh, one of those cards that everyone hated on ever since it was released. And I think this is the first time I've ever seen it in a game. In 2024. Haven't you played it multiple times? No. Oh. I've never uh, played it. I've played it, I've played it once. Oh, okay. It is in... Is it in on Vixilus? Could be. I don't know. I can't remember. It's in, I have it in one deck. I think it's on Vixilus. And I think it's hit the board once. Uh, I'm going to pay three, and I'm going to cast Demon's Disciple. When it enters the battlefield, each player sacrifices a creature or plains water. God damn it. Is that Demon's uh, Sorcery? I'll be sacrificing the demons this time. I'll sacrifice Strip Hall. Okay. There goes new visit. All right, I'll take so, new visit. Uh, no. You, you sacrifice non-token permanent. 
I don't know, you can just yeah, put it back yeah. in the command zone, but yeah. technically. Yeah, for me. Did you sacrifice something? I did. Get a sacrifice. No, it's my turn. Ah. So I get a disciple under my spider. Maybe next turn. Well, yes, no, next turn. turn. <laughs> You're the active player. Yeah. Your ability triggers. Yeah. yeah. His ability triggers. Oh, okay. His ability resolves first. Yeah. Okay. I'll start it off. Go ahead. Um, okay, so then I am going to. Well, this, oh shit! When this enters the battlefield, each player sacrifices a creature. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna sacrifice. I'm gonna sacrifice this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you have to, you have a sacrifice trigger uh, as well. Yeah, I guess I'll sacrifice my command. And then oh, I am coward. <laughs> what? Don't sacrifice have. the obliterator. <laughs> it was a creature. Right? I don't have to get rid of my. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm going to unequip Greaves. Nelson can just. Oh, uh, no. Kill. You can't just unequip. Yeah, you have to have a target to equip. Uh, great. Fuck. <laughs> so I can't put my plays on my obliterator. Not nope. yet. But you can cast it. Oh, it's already up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, from from right. over here for some reason uh, it looks like I'm a... gonna move to combat and I'm gonna swing at Schnell for five. Okay, I'm gonna throw Tigrid in front now to sacrifice four things. Teleria West, Blued, Blued. Right. Sturge so four or five, right? Yeah. Okay. And then I'm do one swamp, one mob. Okay. okay. Bitch. Oh, what a quandary. Uh, I'm Goshen. Okay. How would you describe that quandary? That quandary? Painful. Is it? Oh, okay. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you need to address your deck building. We're going to recast. Yeah, I'm going to do seven off soon here. <laughs> We're going to recast Strafon. And when I do Painful Quandary, I'm going to discard Bag of Holding. Feels bad. Um, go to my end step. I, nobody lost life on my turn. Go teach. Who's that? Draw. Teach. Damn. Get him. Can't. Please? I'm sorry, I can't. Cyclonic Rift Overload? It can't. I'm going to cast, uh, well, I'm going to play land. Uh, cast Arjun the Shifting Flame. Flame for Quandary. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Discard <an> island. <laughs> Last turn. One. Oh, I. Two, three. Uh, untap. Upkeep and draw for turn. Sacrifices that many permanents. So you're going to for six? Yes. Plus one, plus one for my belt one power. I can take six. Discard. Oh, what a yeah. dumb. 
time I'm having. <laughs> what a time to be alive. I so, Gauntlet of the Power gives my, my yes. black creatures a plus one, plus one. Do you have any, any reachers? I don't. Mm. But I have a few rounders. Ah, okay. <laughs> oh, this isn't a bad deck. Okay. Uh, we will go to combat. And I will go ahead and send Shrapon. Yeah. Four, so four. four commander in the air your way. Uh, commander damage from shell. Four. Game. Down to seven. Go to my end step. Get a blood counter. It's bloody. Go ahead. Jesus. Untap. I'll keep draw. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ha ha ha! Why is that card sticking out here? I know why it's sticking out here. One, two, Don't. three, four, five, six. I am going to cast uh, Painful Quandary. Yeah. yeah. Fuck! Yeah, I know. Right? Yeah, oh, no! no! I know! Cast it. Cast That's it, the please. same fucking boat. Fight the soap. Make me look like an asshole. Oh, no! Cast it. Cast it. Do it. Cast it. Cast it. Don't be a you think I wanted to do two things, but I can't do two things. I can only do one thing. Uh, I wanted to play Nippus at the Fire Mine oh. and then cast Memory from my graveyard. Ooh, that'd have been real good. But then I can't discard anything, yeah. so I would lose. Yep. So instead, I'm going to cast Memory from my graveyard, which has been there for a long time, and I completely forgot about it. Yep. Four, five, six. Uh, each player shuffles their hand and graveyard into their library and draws seven cards. Discarding Nip Visit. Uh, commit to memory is exiled. Uh, this is a very close I, game. This has been a great game. According yeah. to my watch biometrics, I died three rounds ago. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that was me. Your watch oh. is confused. Ah. <laughs> Shitty Tamagotchi, he's not doing well. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think those I don't think those burgers are zero calories. <laughs> I wanted to ask you about that. I also didn't believe that label. No, but... that is just a misprinted label okay. from, a, from the Festival Butcher, <laughs> which is awesome. Yeah. Uh, do you say draw seven? Then? Draw seven. Uh, each player exiles or uh, discards draw seven. Shuffles draw seven. Yeah, there. Two, three, four, five, six, so seven. wait, what are we doing with this? <laughs> You're good. <laughs> Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have not played a land yet. Uh, playing a land does mean no harm? That a question? <laughs> it is so the answer is yes. Uh, I don't have anything that hurts you with lands. Uh, <laughs> um, land for turtle gate, Grixis Panorama. Uh, I no longer have anything in my graveyard, so Snapcaster is useless. Uh, I am going to. One, two, three. I'm going to cast Flux. Uh, Pay for Quadra Trigger. I will discard a Fable Passage. What's Flux the uh, can... That's the one where he chooses oh, yeah, we can choose card. to discard. Uh, whenever I cast a spell, I put the cards in my hand on the bottom of my library in any order to draw the cards. Order is irrelevant. I will draw one, two, three, four. Six. Uh, I'm going to discard six and draw six. One, two, three, four. Um, I'm going to discard three and draw three. I'm going to discard three and I'm going to draw four because I can draw an extra one. One, two, three, four. Did that rip? Jesus! <laughs> I would have been helpful like in a sequence earlier in the game. Cabal coffers, Cabal stronghold swamp. Nice. <laughs> I'm going to pass the turn. Uh, Prayer turn, prayer oh, that's before uh, uh, after that's the upkeep out. before the draw. I think like, I think prayer phases are like base phases. Oh, okay. Uh, upkeep and <laughs> draw for turn. 
We did, man. Free and post combat for our base. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, land for turn will be a cabal coffers. Um, I'm going to pay a black mana, floating one black mana. Uh, because of the gauntlet of power, it's just whenever it taps for mana of the chosen color, and I tap black, this taps for black, so it doesn't have to be a swamp. Go um, <laughs> so floating one black, uh, and I'm Sick going to uh, <laughs> cast Kai's Ghost Form, targeting Shelob. So uh, when it dies or is put into exile, I return it to the battlefield. Um, then <laughs> I'm going to. Soul Ring, and I'm going to cast uh, Merciless Executioner. When it enters the battlefield, uh, each player sacrifices a creature. Uh, uh, can't even fucking do that. In response, oh, go on, please. I'm going to pay one. Stroke him off. And <laughs> discard a card. We're going to discard Bag of Holding and sacrifice this artifact to draw a card. Oh, you're going to get an owl, bitch. <laughs> I wasn't trying to be a dick. No, 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 no I'm wrong. I, uh, I think <laughs> it just happened to <laughs> the card right fucking did. Then I have oh, that have doesn't work. For when you read it, untap it. <laughs> I, I have I to untap it to read it. it. I can't read I'm, gonna, I'm gonna read my mountain four times. <laughs> <laughs> then I forgot to recap it. Okay. Uh, then I'm gonna pay. And imagine three floaters. Uh, I'm gonna pay three. I'm activating the Cabal Coffer, so that's one, two, three, four. So I guess I'm paying four. Oh, you'll pay. <laughs> you'll pay. Yeah, uh, yeah, and I'm going to equip the Commander's Plate onto Sheila. Yeah. So she gets three, three, and protection from each color that's not in my Commander's Color identity. So right now Sheila's a six, six. Yeah. I'm going to move to combat. Mm -hmm. I'm going to swing the Obliterator at Chanel and Sheila at Teach. So five to you and five to you. In response. Yeah. I figured you had something. I'm going to pay two red yep. and Magma Quake for zero. Painful Quandary deals me five. No! <laughs> oh, what? I have a response. I have a response. I'm going to swamp song that. <laughs> uh, Painful Quandary is going to do me five. Still a, still a cast trigger. Yep. I take five, two. <laughs> Nelson, you didn't beat anyone. Nelson, I lost. In fact, I lost. <laughs> Lost a dumb bitch. Last one out, I lose. Four and eleven. Jokes on, jokes on wow. me. 
So Shelob came back tonight, and uh, in a very interesting game, uh, it kind of felt like everybody was, I don't know, hanging around outside the ropes, just waiting for that tag in. Uh, it felt like we kind of went back and forth and back and forth across all four of us. So she didn't do anything um, overly powerful, I would say. Um, you know, the, the extra planar lens was in my opening hand. I had two lands. Uh, and the extra planar lens, the shard of the void dragon, harvester of souls, and the uh, avatar of woe. So my thought was, well, if I can get the extra planar lens for a turn or two, I can get some big creatures out and then maybe try to, uh, you know, create a board state while trying to keep some other stuff under control. Uh, extra planar lens came out and immediately was abraded, which was the right move by Schnell, um, even though it set me back uh, a spell and an exiled land. Um, it was definitely the right move. So just kind of hung it out from there until I was able to uh, start gaining some traction. Um, one creature that definitely helped with the way the end state of the game shaped up was Phyrexian Obliterator. Um, I knew that uh, there's a lot of ways, uh, what, what, how do I want to say this? There's a lot of edict effects um, in the deck and Obliterator is one that's very good because when you see something like Merciless Executioner, everybody sacks a creature. That's great. But Obliterator, whenever a, uh, whenever a source deals damage uh, to it, uh, its controller sacrifices that many permanents. So it, it just gets me more of that effect um, at a pretty solid rate because the thing's a 5-5. Five, five. I've got ways to beef it up, like the Gauntlet of Power, um, any of the equipment that's in the deck that gives, you know, um, static plus plus. So uh, it ended up working very well for me the way the game shook out there um, at the end. Unfortunately... For Chris, but fortunately for us, I guess, um, it just, the, the Furnace of Wrath with his Sulfuric Vortex is ultimately uh, what did him in after I was able to swing in, and I, I think I dealt like 16 damage or something like that uh, with the, was it Sheila? I don't even remember, uh, the, Sh the Void Dragon? I don't remember. Um, anyway, I dealt him a lot of damage, and then it was just hard for him to recover quick enough. Um, I was kind of joking with him, like, do you have enchantment removal in that deck? Uh, and he did. He just was unable to find it. So it kind of shook out at the end there where we could kind of race uh, between Tiege and Schnell and myself. I got lucky that Tiege played the wheel, and I drew into the Merciless Executioner and the Plague Crafter. So uh, I knew if I played them correctly, uh, as far as sequence, getting the Executioner out there first to get rid of all of their creatures uh, because they each had one and then I could get the Plague Crafter out and then uh, force them to to discard, get some things out of their hand even though with a full grip I, I knew it wouldn't be great uh, but at least it would allow me to get something out of their hands. Um, being able to get rid of the Turgrid was huge because it was something that I was competing with, uh, with Schnell and then, you know, uh, Turgrid's a little bit more flexible as far as how she can gain control of things than Shelob is because discarding also, uh, you know, goes to Turgrid. So, knew I wanted to get rid of that. I was sitting on a Damnation and a Toxic Deluge in my hand. Obviously, that late in the game with everything that was going on, didn't want to be paying life. I uh, thought about casting the Damnation at one point, but I was unable to move the Lightning Greaves off of my Obliterator, which actually worked out for me in the end because then I had Shelob and the Obliterator when I was able to swing and then force both of my opponents to uh, kill themselves <laughs> to the Quandary rather than allowing me a clean victory. So anyway, uh, Obliterator was great, but also uh, one of the... You know, patented Nelson pet cards, Painful Quandary, came up huge. Uh, it's usually a big target for removal after it's been around, you know, um, hit everybody a few times, whether that's damage or discard. Um, the way this game was going where Chris was just throwing out damage and then it just kept coming around and around and around uh, between, you know, his Clothis being able to do damage to us, his Sulfuric Vortex having the Furnace of Wrath out, or Tiege having the uh, 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 Gearson Storm uh, out on the battlefield, able to hit us for one with something like Niv or whatever else, and then we're taking two more on top of that. Um, you know, it, it, it helped a lot um, to have that out there, and I was able to dodge enchantment removal, uh, but it was definitely my my MVP uh, of the deck for this game because it, it's really the only thing that kept me kind of um, relevant uh, as far as I was able to make my opponents lose life or at least some sort of uh, advantage through cards um, as, as as we went along. So Painful Quandary definitely, definitely did its work. Uh, the deck didn't 
even though like we got to see a lot of the edict effects and, and creature destruction and things like that that this deck is trying to do, didn't really steal a whole lot of stuff with Shelob. Played her pretty late game. Um, had to get rid of her right away, then recast her later. Um, and by that time, I was able to just kind of uh, get the game ended. So we didn't see a lot of what she can do, but we did get to see what the deck wants to do in order to put cards uh, you know, in exile with her so that I can either recast them or eat them uh, and and uh, put some counters on her. So the deck did great. I thought it was a really fun game. Uh, I felt terrible for Chanel sitting on three land for the majority of the game and then finally getting your fourth land. Uh, but he was able to throw in Dynamo and then cast some spells and do some shit after, uh, you know, we got to the very end. But it really sucks to sit there for an hour and a half of a Magic game and not get to play Magic when you want to sit down to play Magic. So I hope he plays that deck again soon. Strafan is a very powerful commander. I know a lot of people um, have built a lot of Rakdos vampire decks with him just because of the fact that he can easily get vampires um, onto the battlefield, especially in that red and black color combination. We've seen Niv wheels uh, plenty of times. We know that it can be death by a thousand paper cuts because it can just throw damage, uh, you know, in, in multiple numbers all around uh, very quickly. Luckily, we were able to keep Tej uh, a little bit unstable and didn't really get to wheel with the uh, payoff effects on the board, you know. Um, so that was good. Chris and Schnell and I were able to kind of work in tandem to try to keep him from being able to combo off uh, and, and do some shit, uh, or at least have some really big, powerful turns. And, and I think the three of us were able to do that uh, together pretty well. Um, and then Chris's deck did exactly what it was supposed to do. I mean, it's an Enchantress deck, uh, but it's cool because it's Gruul instead of like Selesnya or even Bant. So there's a lot of the direct damage that he's doing with his um, red enchantments, Sulfuric Vortex and uh, the um, Furnace of Wrath are very nice uh, synergy together. And then also the, um, oh my God, a Price of Glory. That's a card that I enjoy. I have that as kind of a control -y piece in my Mogus um, God of Slaughter No Creatures deck because it forces people to really think about interacting uh, on turns that are not their own. So I like that as a deterrent. It's a really, really good card. Clothis is a pain in the ass as a card. Uh, it's very difficult to get rid of unless you have exile effects. Um, I like the deck a lot. So I thought this game was great. Probably one of the best overall games I think we may have ever played as a pod. I just felt like it was super competitive down to the end. Everybody had a crack at it. Um, unfortunately, Chris's deck kind of worked against him at the end, which worked in the rest of our favor. But I hope to see all the decks uh, that the guys brought tonight again soon because I just I feel like they're, they're very well built and this was a very, very fun game. Um, Clothis is a deck I've had together for a little while now, and the deck never seems to let me down. It's a little bit of a known quantity. It performs the same way each time, but I enjoy how this deck performs. Um, it has the right amount of ramp. It has the right amount of interaction. Uh, the problem tonight was uh, an awful, awful misplay on my part. Um, the deck was... I felt like I was in a very, very good position. Um, once I had the board state that I wanted set up, uh, I could just sit back on Arborea and uh, I just interact on other people's turns. And I think I would have been okay with the damage that my commander and some of my other pieces were thrown around each turn. Uh, but it, and there was an awful misplay on my part. Um, I got all antsy in the pantsy and I wanted to flip over uh, Invasion of Chandelar because on the back side it allows me to uh, just put a permanent into play for my hand uh, at the beginning of my upkeep. It's not a cast, it can't be countered, uh, it can really only be stifled. And I think I'm the only dick that plays those in my pod. Um, but I got excited, I played the Furnace of Wrath, and was like, oh great, all my opponents are going to be taking four every upkeep. Um, and it w that would have functioned well. Um, even though Schnell didn't really do a whole lot to the first, maybe, you know, three quarters of the game, the life totals were very consistent the whole way down. And I really thought that um, that four damage each turn uh, would have got me there. But I misplayed. Uh, I played the Furnace of Wrath. I swung out to uh, destroy the battle that uh, I had on Nelson's battlefield. And uh, I left myself completely wide open for the crackback. Uh, total rookie move, put myself down to two. Um, I just, just brain dead, brain dead. I, I, I really liked my board position and I just, 
they just pissed it away because I was not paying attention. Um, Nelson also started slow when when Schnell took out his uh, his thran, thran lens, I believe. Extra planar, extra, extra planar extra lens, planar. that was it. Um, uh, so he had a couple poopy turns there. Schnell had some poopy turns there. And Tiege, uh, this was not a normal Niv Mizzet showing. I think we saw a wheel and like a partial wheel in the form of flux. Um, this deck normally just rifles through hands like crazy and there, there was not a lot of that. Uh, I think this would have been a completely different game if it was more of uh, your standard uh, Niv Mizzet wheels deck. Uh, but it just wasn't there tonight. Um, it was a very competitive game, like I said. It was very, very close life totals the whole way down. Even uh, on the last turn of the game, I think they were 5-5-11. Five, five, and 11. And to Nelson's point, as far as our games go, that's about as tight as we get. Um, there wasn't somebody with a bunch of crazy life gain. Uh, nobody was really taken out all that early. Um, it was it was a, a good game. Uh, that being said, how I misplayed does kind of leave me with a bad taste in my mouth, and this deck will be back sooner rather than later. Not a typical showing for Niv Mizzet tonight, but I am okay with that. I kept an opening hand with uh, Rael the Everwise and Harmonic Prodigy uh, because triggering Rael two times to just draw cards would have propelled me uh, forward really, really far. Um, and uh, first couple of turns, I drew the uh, the Flamer of Zinch uh, and the and the uh, Gaihar Storm Sower or whatever the fuck he's called. But uh, whenever I do exactly one damage to uh, uh, a player, uh, uh, Gaihar or Storm, whoever that guy, you know, Warhammer 40k, uh, he's going to do an additional two damage, and the Flamer of Zinch. Uh, we'll do one damage whenever I cast an instant or sorcery spell. Um, so the game plan going forward was cast things to discard, to draw a bunch of cards, uh, do one damage and then two damage to everyone. That's really going to uh, get me going. Uh, I, I was aware I was going to... Playing like that would make me the enemy of the game right from the get-go, but the way Niv Mizzet usually goes is... Uh, Fill the hand up, just cast more things. Uh, uh, I was not worried about becoming Arch Enemy this game. Didn't turn out that way, but I still got to make a lot of real cool plays. I didn't wheel nearly as much, and that wasn't by choice. I just wasn't seeing the cards, uh, which is very unusual for me. But every card that I saw and every card that I played, uh, I had a lot of fun with, because I was playing a lot of things that I didn't play in uh, a combination before with the deck. Uh, so I got to see a lot of new things. So, um, and then, like I said, at the start of the game, uh, I was the enemy, but that quickly turned around to Nelson being the enemy, uh, uh, Chris being the enemy at some point, and poor Schnell, uh, this game wasn't doing a whole lot with his deck, but, uh, uh I want to see it again. Uh, Schnell makes real great decks, and if he decided to build around blood, he's gonna... He's going to make a bloody mess out of doing that. So uh, this first game with that deck just wasn't it. But that being said, it was back and forth between pretty much all of us the entire game. Uh, I was ahead. Nelson was ahead. Chris was ahead. Uh, and then by the end, Chris took himself out. Uh, I was ironically spinning my wheels. Uh, just couldn't bring myself out of the, the ditch. I had a memory in my graveyard. Commit to memory. One of the... Uh, 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 I forgot what they're called, but one of the versions of split cards where I can cast one half from my graveyard, but I can only cast that half from my graveyard. It was in there for a while before I remembered it. Uh, if I had remembered it sooner, maybe things would have changed early on, but um, by the end there, uh, I needed to play it just to refill the hand to try to find some sort of out that I just didn't find. Um, so uh, uh, Nelson walked away with this game with Shelob. That's a... a Fantastic deck. I like every time I see that deck. Um, and then we had a cool interaction there for uh, a turn or two with the Tegrate and the Shelob and, and just trying to figure out who's going to get what. It depends on whose turn it is. So uh, a lot of fun interactions this game. Uh, overall, just a fantastic game. Uh, I really, really enjoyed it. Even though uh, the wheel deck didn't do what it normally does, I got to do different things with it this game, and that's what made it a lot of fun for me. Oh, uh, quick. 
quick, quick aside, Thunder Junction, our cameras are not working down here. Uh, but I did mention there's the Thunder Junction card in this deck. It's Step Between Worlds. Uh, five mana sorcery. Each player may shuffle their hand and graveyard into the library. Each player who does draw seven exile step between worlds, uh, but I can plot it for six mana instead of casting it for five. Uh, it's just another card that shuffles my graveyard back into my library just to let me do all my stuff again. So, uh, fits the theme. There you go. Uh, so, Strafan didn't do anything for me. It was my own fault. I had three lands in my opening hand. I had a couple of things that I cast for one, two, and three, and then just never saw any more lands for the rest of the game. Um, what little bit I did do, I felt good about. What little bit I saw, I remembered that there's some objectively good cards in this deck, and there's a lot of really neat little engines that I can get going if I can get them going. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna probably play this deck again almost immediately just to see if I can do better that way. Um, as far as my opponents, yeah, Tej not wheeling and dealing as much. I was very upset actually that he wasn't doing all the things he normally does because that's free opportunities to refill my hand too when he forces everyone to uh, wheel that way. Uh, Shilob is just every good black card Nelson likes goes in that deck. That is that is all that deck is, and it it works. It, we've seen it work. Uh, Chris's deck, which I always forget which... Uh, Clothis, his Clothis deck. Uh, that one, I am a huge fan of because it is a lot of the fun enchantments that I love to run in other decks, where it's just, oh, every time you do a thing, hurt, hurt. You want to play lands? No. You want to you tap them on other people's turns? Price of Glory says no. You want to just exist, you take two from Sulfuric Vortex. Um, the fact that he took himself out to me is hilarious, and it was probably my best play of the game, because I'm going to say that I did that to him telepathically. Um, but that's the only event. The, his, his death and then my suicide are the only things I can uh, I can claim, claim victory over. Nelson had this game. He had it for a while. He could have taken me out earlier, but he didn't. So I appreciate that. Uh, stay tuned to see what he does next time and what the rest of us build, and uh, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.